Hey there guys, how's it going and welcome to another Ark Survival Evolved video. We're going to be doing some testing today. I want to do some more testing with these gachas. These things are probably the most mysterious creatures that have ever been put into Ark. And obviously they can be super, super beneficial uh, if you manage to get things right. If you manage to get the maximum amount of crystals, the best gear possible. So it's worth doing a little bit of research. Now if you want to see a video where I explain how to get loads of our pellets, how to most effectively play the gachas i'll put an annotation on the screen right now you can check that one out we actually opened 75 of the boosted crystals on official servers in that video but what i want to do today is actually do a little bit of testing based on the feedback from you guys i massively appreciate all the feedback that's what makes this art community work and helps us discover things is people leaving the information they know on videos like this so feel free to leave comments on anything that you might know that we're not doing here or things that you'd like me to test now, a couple of things that people said in the description of that video, we're going to, well, not description, sorry, the comment section of that video that we're going to test today. Number one, someone said that electro cables are very good. Electrical cables even are very good to feed them. Uh, number two, there was a suggestion that war maps are very good things to feed them. Obviously, there are better things to feed them, but these are things that are practical to make. So here I've got the testing station. I've got two mate boosted gachas, and apparently they don't have to be mate boosted to produce. Just something that you might want to know. No, but if they do have too many of the same um, gender in the same area, then they won't produce. And I told you guys how to check that in the other video. So you don't have to have two, but we're going to have two here so we can get the maximum amount of crystals possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use our pellets and I'm going to get 100 crystals all together. So 50 from each of these. Now, these crist uh, these gachas even, I have leveled the crafting speed to 185. I haven't changed any stats even. Sorry. 180 the other one was 180.5 but yeah i've leveled the crafting skill to 180 uh, the reason i've done that is i think that that's a reasonable number you guys are going to be able to get on officials so this video will be something that is realistic for you guys to achieve uh, on official servers so the way I'm going to do it is I've figured out how much uh, the gachas eat every time they eat. They eat 20 of whatever it is. So I've got 2,000 war maps here. I've got 2,000 electrical cables and we've got 2,000 stones. So obviously that should give us 100 crystals. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the crystals that they give us and I'm going to put them in the relevant vaults and we're going to compare how many ascendant mastercraft and you know journeyman crystals we get from each one ones now if what you guys are saying is correct and what you give it to, uh, will actually increase the chance of getting better stuff then i'm expecting the electrical cables to give us better things than the stone um what's in them might not be too uh might not change much but we'll probably test that as well so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm actually going to test out the stone so i'm going to get my one i'm going to get 100 pellets uh, well, actually, it doesn't need to be 100. Yeah, it does need to be 100 pellets, obviously. So let's get a bunch of pellets. Uh, let's put that away. I'm going to distribute them evenly between the two, and then I'm going to speed it up and make these things lay super quick while I collect the crystals. All right, so that experiment is done. They actually ate way more stone than I calculated for. So if you do this yourself, they, they can eat way more stone uh, than just 2,000. I'm not sure how I messed that up. Uh, maybe it needed to be 20,000? I don't know. Either way, we have the crystals here. So these are the crystals that we got from 100... Um, well, well, giving it 100 pellets. So these are 100 crystals from feeding the gachas stone. So we've got one ascendant, two mastercraft three journeyman uh seven apprentice and five ramshackle and the rest um is obviously primitive you can see so you can see there this roughly calculates to a one percent chance of an ascendant two percent of a mastercraft three percent of a journeyman and so on and so forth so uh yeah some interesting information there but this isn't too much unlike i expected this is very similar to what i got from my unboxing video now we're going to get to the slightly more interesting stuff we're going to try using some different things um obviously i could use all kinds of different things if you want me to do a proper experiment using something in particular you can think of that might be really good let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do that but we are going to use war maps so let's get our pellets let's feed them up and let's see if this is any better well the results are in and they are very interesting indeed now this 
is 100 war map or 100 war map um, crystals based on it consuming the war maps. And as you can see, these are quite cheap. One hide, four fiber, two wood. So actually they're very reasonable to make. And also I put like, what do I, put? I think I put a thousand war maps each in these and they didn't even go through them all. So what are we talking about here? I don't know, but basically you don't have to make a ridiculous amount. Oh, and as you can see here, an Ascendant Crystal, but <laughs> not to spoil the price too much. Inside here is the crystals, the 100 crystals from them consuming the war maps. And as you can see, oh, we got a lot of Ascendant, baby. Now, obviously, this 100 uh, crystals is quite a small sample size, so it's not 100% conclusive evidence. But I think we pretty much can confirm that you are more likely to get Ascendant crystals from using War Map. Interestingly enough, the other crystals like Mastercraft, Journeyman and whatever, we seem to have like an average amount of those compared to the other one. Uh, but we definitely have more Ascendant crystals without doubt. Like that's way too many for that to just be chance. Now we've got one, two, three, four, four and a half roughly lines of boosted crystals. And in the stone one, we only have three lines of boosted crystals. So there's a good chance that giving it war maps or anything better than stone, obviously, does also increase the amount of boosted crystals you get in comparison to uh, normal ones. Not actually the amount, literally, but in terms of whether they're boosted or not. Um, but yeah, that is very, very interesting, guys. We have, what is that? 6, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16 Ascendant Crystals out of 100 crystals that is very interesting indeed now the next question uh actually let's get rid of all the stuff in this otherwise it's gonna mess up the experiment but as you can see look another ascendant one has just dropped over there so early early conclusions war maps look like a really really good thing to put in your gachas next up we're gonna test the electrical cables these cost two ingots each so on extinction maybe not the best thing because there's not that much metal on extinction but obviously um that will depend on what your situation is and obviously you might have gachas on other maps so it's worth testing anyway but let's grab these cables hopefully it's gonna be enough we'll grab our pellets and let's test out the electrical cables Okay, the electrical cable experiment is done. Uh, one thing I want to check actually is how many um, it eats every time it eats one. So I didn't really check that. So let's just speed this up a little bit. Um, so this is going to give us an idea of how many ingots it's going to use every single time um, it obviously creates a crystal. So yeah, it, it's 20. That's interesting. So it does eat 20 cables. So each crystal is going to cost you 40 ingots, which is obviously uh, 80 raw metal. So something to bear in mind before we actually have a look at the cable as well. And let me just check the war maps as well. I think it's the same for the war maps, but I'm second guessing myself because they, they seem to be eaten weirdly, um, definitely when it came to the stone. So let's just do speed that up a little bit and let's just double check. Um, oh, actually, we should probably add more than that. Yeah, so the war maps are also 20, so that's just something to bear in mind. So let's take a look now at the crystals from the electrical cables. This is 100 crystals based off of them eating electrical cables, 20 at a time with pellets. And as you can see here, again, very similar actually to the war map. So straight away, I'm thinking it's probably better to do war map. Um, the amount of ascendant is obviously uh, way, way above what we had with the stone. And it's pretty similar, although I've got to say, we did seem to get a few more mastercraft than we did with the more, with the uh, war maps. But I've got to say, that could probably just be due to, you know, random generation. That could just be a, a margin of error. So, in all honesty, I'd say they're probably pretty similar, if not the same. Um, we do have some primitive ones in here as well. So, whether or not you actually think the war maps are better than electrical cables is probably going to depend on where you are. I mean, if you live on aberration and you just have a ridiculous amount of metal, maybe you'd rather um, use the metal than make a war map. But because this war map is something, obviously, you craft that is super chink, uh, cheap it got me thinking maybe there are other things that you craft maybe almost anything that you actually craft um will be more beneficial so i'm gonna have to think about what some of the cheaper things i can make and see how well they do 
Okay, so first experiment I'm going to do is with cloth hats. I just tested this out and it seems to give us a crystal off of just eating one cloth hat. So that could actually be very nice indeed. So if this is better than normal, um, that would be very, very cool. And obviously these are very cheap to make, just 10 fiber. So I'm going to throw a load of these in. We'll do like a little mini experiment. Maybe we'll get 100 again and we'll see how it goes. All right, so the results from the cloth hat experiment are in, and it seems like this is very, very similar to stone. As you can see, one ascendant. Uh, and if we compare that to the stone here, oh, it's almost identical, damn. Apart from we've got, yeah, one ascendant, one master, two mastercraft here. Yeah, very, very similar to stone. Um, actually, we've got a few more crystals in general. Well, actually, just two more and a few more uh, ramshackle. But you'd have to say it's pretty much the same. Um, and at first, I thought they ate one hat. But it seems they ate like three or even four hats per crystal they produce. So just depends, really. Uh, is fiber something you can get easier than stone um, in your situation? You have to figure that one out for yourself. Uh, I'm going to try out one more thing, um, but I want you guys to leave some comment other things you'd like me to test here. I've got this nice setup. I'm going to try one more thing, and then we're going to open these up, and we're going to see if the actual stuff seems to be better, um, depending on what the crystal has come from. So let's see if we can think of one more thing that might be good. So I'm testing out right now with some stone picks. Um, it seems like they eat about seven stone picks per one. And as you can see from what I've got already, I don't think I need to do the full 100. But you can see it seems to be pretty similar to everything else that we've done. Um, so if you've got any suggestions that things that might be super cheap for me to do, let me know. But I do want to have a little bit of fun and try some super expensive things. And just see how many, like, how many of the crystals that we get that are boosted are ascendant. So I decided to have a bit of fun and feed these things uh, actual element just to see um, how that would do and uh, to be honest it looks like nothing great really like I know this is only 70 I didn't go for the full 100 um, but there's not like an extremely high amount of ascendant it just seems to be pretty even across the board I will open a couple of these though just in case there's something ridiculous I mean yeah they are like the kind of cool ridiculous Jura stuff but as you can see you can still get a stone pick and <laughs> each of those costs like 20 elements so uh, element definitely isn't something worth doing now I don't want this video to go on for too long I could honestly just sit and test this stuff all day but one thing I do want to test is how good the stuff is from each of these is it different because of what the gacha was actually eating or does what the gacha eatling just purely affect whether it's an ascendant mastercraft or whatever so let's put this stuff that's in my inventory away we're gonna open all of these and then we're just gonna throw them back in and see what we got all right excuse the mess on the floor <laughs> i dropped a load of the stuff here but we can compare the three uh, different types of things that the gacha was consuming here so here are the crystals from consuming the stone uh pretty much as you would expect and we did get some nice stuff from the ascendant crystals i mean you can see here even though i was feeding this thing stone we did manage to get a piece of armor that was over 1000 jura and that is kind of like the best stuff you can get so it seems you definitely can get the really good stuff from the stone um and this is making me think that it probably is not to do so much with the actual thing it's consumed but purely based on whether it is an ascendant crystal or a mothcraft or whatever i mean bear in mind there was only one or two ascendant crystals here um this isn't bad at all next up we've got the war maps where we had quite a lot of ascendant crystals and you can see here we have quite a lot of uh nice gear you'd probably be a bit more pleased with this i mean this this comes to my uh this well this attracts my eye should i say 555 damage pistol there which is kind of crazy and a lot of high damage stuff i mean a 450 long neck um all of our boots that are ascendant are up at a thousand jura we've got a 500 jura chest piece um so yeah pretty much as you'd expect but yeah really really good stuff uh, and then we've got here the electrical cables and it's a similar kind of story um maybe you could argue this is slightly better but i'm not sure really i think it would just be pure chance but as you can see we've got a 446 damage fabby sniper a beautiful long neck up near the cap limit of 298 we've got a 500 damage pick we've got a chest piece here 
1300 Jura um, and we've got some other stuff obviously a nice little mix but really I don't think it's different enough from the Ascendant stuff we've got here to say that you actually get better gear from the cables than you do the war maps um, so I'm going to go ahead and recommend after this video after all this testing based on what we've seen so far uh, that war maps is probably the best thing for you guys to do obviously like i said previously if you do have a lot of metal maybe you could do cables because it's only one material and war maps are three different materials but then again if you're on extinction hide is mega easy and it's one hide per map fiber is also super easy because not only can you get the really great sickles from the crystals but you can get bears very easily so that's going to mean hide for days and wood isn't too bad on extinction Eva. so i'm gonna recommend that if you've got anything else you'd like me to experiment with uh, maybe try some other items friends that told you certain items that are cheap are really good i will try them um but i i honestly don't think anything super expensive is going to be the key here what we're looking for is something that is cheap but seems to give you a high high boost of ascendant crystals but i hope you guys found this video useful i know i found it useful <laughs> uh, finding out all this information uh get your war maps made guys get your gachas ready and go get yourself some awesome gear but that's it for now i'll see you all next time <laughs>